Hi everyone, today we're going to be playing the cosy game of teacup. In this game we play as a cute little frog who likes tea on a little adventure in the cutest little world. I thought this game looked absolutely adorable and I thought it'd be a lovely game to play on the channel this year. So let's get into it. Meet teacup, a frog who loves tea. Sounds a bit like me to be honest. Oh my goodness, I'm sat like that right now with my blanket. <laughs> Oh no, she's run out! Oh dear! <laughs> oh no, we have a tea party coming up and we have no tea. And thus began Teacup's journey for tea. So we can move, interact with things, and sprint. I love her little outfit. Oh my goodness. How cute are the graphics in this game? You guys know I'm a huge fan of pixel art. A present from your grandmother. Aw, she gave us a plant. Oh my goodness, it's like the chair you have in Animal Crossing. If you customise the ranch chair in Animal Crossing to be pink, it looks just like this. This tea encyclopedia will be useful. Oh look, there's something under the book. Hi Teacup, I'm glad to confirm that all of us will be able to make it to the tea party. I almost forgot to write back since we've been busy with Evangeline, practicing like crazy for our performance at the kite festival. Pretty nervous, but I think it's going to be great. The boys are very excited too, but I hope none of them have forgotten it's this Saturday. It's been so long since the last time you all got together. Take care of yourself, see you soon. Adele. Oh, that's my mum's name. How weird. <laughs> Whoops, should have opened this letter earlier. How cute is this little house? Okay, let's head outside. And look how beautiful nature is in this game. Very colourful. <laughs> no new letters. Okay, let's explore. Oh, it seems there's another mailbox over here. I love the way that Teacup kind of skips when she walks. I guess she jumps like a frog, right? These are private letters. Is this an owl? Oh. This is Otto. Why, hello Teacup. Haven't seen you out here for quite a while. May I help you with something? I see. A quest for tea. An adventure. When I was a young lad, I used to go on adventures too. Oh, the memories. Well, today is your lucky day, Teacup. What a coincidence, I was just about to throw away this map. Oh, okay. A travelling car, a kite, and... Looks to be like a little tent, maybe a circus? It used to be complete, but some spots have faded with time. You'll have to fill the rest yourself. It was a gift, back from when I arrived in this town by mistake. I'll tell you all about it someday. Well, I won't keep you any longer. Looks like you have a busy day ahead of you. Oh, I love owl characters, it's so sweet. I wonder what is this way? Oh, this is the West Forest. Let's go to the pond. Wow. Are these like lily pads? It's so pretty. The path ends here and this part of the map has faded out. Okay, so we shouldn't go that way. Let's go this way then, I suppose. Wow, look at this. It's so gorgeous. The little bridge. Who designed this? Looks pretty wobbly. And who's this little frog in the water? Oh, there's loads of frogs. And a cat. Honey, sometimes the only option is to be fabulous. You are fabulous. Be fabulous. That's great life advice. <laughs> what about this guy? Whoa. Salamandro. Hello there, little froggy. You lost. My name is Salamandro. I'm the strongest, fastest swimmer around. <laughs> Wanna race to the other side? It's indeed a nice day to be swimming. What's with the book? Wanna race or not? I'll give you a little head start. You don't want to? Well, I guess I'll see you around. Aw, teacup is so socially awkward. Same. Be careful, honey. The water here is deep. Well, where do I go from here? I suppose we just head back? How about we head to the market? Terranchio? Is that how you say this? I find baskets to be quite comforting. How exciting! The anniversary celebration will soon start. Oh, anniversary? Fresh potatoes. This is Malcolm. Hello, little frog. Teacup? Well, hello, teacup. I don't have any of those teas you speak about, but I do have the best veggies in town. Wren? That good-for-nothing badger's veggies have nothing on mine. Look at this little teddy! These fruits look delicious. This is Petit Piro. <laughs> or Pyro? I don't know how you pronounce this. I'm sorry, I don't know much about tea. You can put sugar in it? Hmm, might try it sometime. Everyone should try tea. I love tea. Maybe these jams would taste good with toast and tea? Hello, buy some mushrooms. I'm 100% positive they're not poisonous. Oh, I'd hope so. <laughs> or were those? Let's say between 80 and 100. 95% sure they're not. Maybe 90%. Well, I don't want to buy any of those. There's a lot of people from neighbouring towns. Ren is hard at work. Oh, this is Ren. 
Hello, I should have brought some water. A teacup, is that you? Unbelievable, darling. I thought I was seeing a mirage. Come again? Tea? Tea, tea. Always about tea. I know, dear, but you need fruits and veggies too. What can I help you with? You ran out of tea? Impossible. Oh, that's one lovely book. You want me to look at it? Hmm, I don't know these herbs except this one, mint. I can tell you where to find it, but first I need a little help. It's just so hot outside today, I can't even move. But I need to organise my stand. Would you do that for poor old me, dear? I'll get some water in the meantime. I'm just parched. So now we need to help Ren order her stool. Drag the pieces inside the stool to fit them all. You can select pieces and rotate them. Okay, so this is like a little puzzle. Fun! First, I'm going to start with this corner piece. Let's drag this over here. Then maybe the oranges. Then, are these leeks or spring onions? Um, little pears? Oh, these are, these are huge. Oh, okay. I've definitely done this wrong. <laughs> okay, maybe we could place this this way? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, what about this? And then, the pears. We could do this. This is definitely not right. <laughs> Why is this so much harder than I thought it was going to be? Oranges here. Oh wait, I think I might have done it. Strawberries here, and then... What are these, onions? Yeah. We did it! Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Teacup. My stand has never looked this good before. Yeah, now that you say so, the boxes are kind of oddly shaped. I saw Salamandra the other day with some of that herbs you need. Go ask him, he should be by the pond. Oh, I just spoke to him earlier. <laughs> I promised Malcolm I'd buy from him, but Ren's gossip is just better. <laughs> I do love a good gossip too. Lots of variety. Hello, do you like pumpkins? They're the best fruit to ever exist. I don't think I am really a fan of pumpkins to be honest. I like what they look like. But I'm not really a fan of the taste very much. What a cute stand! This looks like Goldie from Animal Crossing. That's what she told me. Unbelievable, I said. Oh, hello again. Who am I speaking to? Well, my lovely blossoms, of course. <laughs> oh, she's chatting with her flowers. They're so cute. This path leads to the plaza. Or maybe not? The map is faded. Okay, so let's head back and go speak to the guy by the pond. I like how much of a recluse teacup is. Like, she's shy, she doesn't know her way around. This is just like me. Um, I don't go outside on my own. So if I just tried to go out of my town, I would definitely get lost. <laughs> That's how much of a recluse I am too. Hello again, little froggy. Wanna race now? The old crony sent you? What are you looking for? Hmm. I do have some of that mint in my garden. I'll give you some. If you beat me in a race in the lake. I must warn you, I doubt you can beat me. Oh, great. <laughs> Alright, now we are doing the fastest swimmer. Salamandro challenged you to race in the lagoon. Press the sequence of directions below teacup to swim faster and take the lead. Okay, let's give this a go. Oh man, I pressed the wrong one! I can do this. I'm good at rhythm games. I can beat him. I'm not gonna beat him, am I? <laughs> oh, I pressed the wrong one! I love the little swimming costume. <gasps> Oh my goodness, I think we beat him! Yay! <laughs> Can't believe we actually did it. Wow, well done little froggy. I have to admit I was a bit tired because I was swimming all afternoon. But a victory is a victory. You have quite some talent. If you considered swimming professionally, you could- Oh, you'd rather stay at home? I see. <laughs> Visit me sometime and I'll give you some mint. I live in the meadow to the north of this pond. Alright, so can I head there now? Oh, here we go. Okay, so through different quests, we're gonna unlock more of the map. And now I've unlocked the meadow. So let's head there. Wow, look how pretty this is. <gasps> I love this garden. A little dungarees hanging on the line. <laughs> Hello, Salamandro. Here you are. I couldn't let you beat me again, so I ran as fast as I could back home. <laughs> you can come whenever you want mint and grab some. I don't use it much. You drink it? I had no idea you could use it for that. Hmm. I'll have to try it someday. So a cute thing about this game as well is we get to learn about tea ingredients, like mint. So mint is an aromatic herb perfect for hot or cold drinks. It can be accompanied with lemon, honey or lemon balm. Mint tea helps with stomach bloating, body aches and is antispasmodic which reduces the chance of vomiting. It's especially recommended for colds or congestion in the throat and nose. This herb is also great for reducing tension or anxiety in the body because it has a relaxing effect. There are also different types of mint with similar properties but different flavour and aroma. Another popular variety is peppermint. Mint has an intense aroma. The flower is very pretty and can be white or lilac. It seems to spread easily through the gardens of Little Pond. I have been using rosemary oil on my hair and the one I've been using has mint in it and the mint smells so strong and I've just begun to love the smell of mint now because of it. Wait, is that a map I see? Quite an old one. Mind if I take a peek? 
Cut on the phrase one of my multiple talents, you know. Let's see. Bah! It's so faded that it's barely of any use. Oh, allow me to fill in some of the missing paths. There we go. Now you should have no problem exploring the rest of Little Pond. It was nice meeting you, Little Froggy. Aw, thank you. And now, we'll be able to explore even more places in the world. So let's head this way and see which other ways we can go. Whoa! So it isn't a circus, looks like it's a magic tent. This is so pretty. Seems like today is a washing day in the meadow. What a mysterious looking tent. It seems no one is home though. Oh, okay. So I have to come back later? Probably after we've met someone. Salamander is such a cute character. I should ask, I thought he was a frog, but I guess he's a salamander. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Okay, so now we can go to the villa or the east forest. I say we go to the villa first. Are these bears? Or otters? Hello. Sorry, this road is closed for the time being. For now, there is no way through this trunk. We're working as fast as we can to restore access to the other houses. Please come back later. Let's keep going this way then. Whose house is this? This is so pretty. Surreal. Is that famous painting of the guy in the hat? And I love all these like imitations of famous paintings. This one is pretty famous too. What was the author called? The mysterious art of daydreaming. Learn the secrets of the subconscious and your past lives. Another thirsty plant. They seem to be popular on Little Pond. Can I not water them? Oh, I can look at everything in here. Tools of communication and elemental discourse and hermeneutics of narrated life. What does that word mean? These books sure analyse everything in detail. Analysis of the Seven Journeys. I guess this one talks about how difficult it is to have high hopes on Mondays. Oh. Olympia. Good morning. Oh, you're Otto's neighbour. It's a pleasure. A friend of my teacher is a friend of mine. Oh. Tea? That's wonderful. I prefer Moroccan coffee, but on my trips some tribes have offered me tea. There's one in particular that I've been looking for, but it's very hard to find. Its special quality was that it transported you to a world of dreams. Sorry. Sometimes I start to ramble. Mm. What do you need? Now that I think about it, I've never seen you around here before. It's nice to see you're outside. Oh, I see. I have some robots. It's only enough for one cup though. If I'm not mistaken, Mr. Rickard gave it to me when I decided to sponsor him. His family lives by the pool and they're always sending him some. You can find him by the pond in the lighthouse. Be nice to him. He's kind of aloof. Okay, so I'll have to go find him later. Is she laughing? Is she sombre? More importantly, why won't she stop staring at you? I love that imitation of Mona Lisa. Okay, so I guess that's all there is to explore in this house. How beautiful is this game though, guys? I've been really missing spring and just going out to enjoy nature in the spring and this game is like the perfect healing spring vibes that I need. Look at this cute little house, it's like a hobbit hole. Oh, your mom lives here. Oh, welcome. Ready for your piano lesson? No. Ah, you're not Rose. My apologies. <laughs> I wonder when she'll arrive. Piano lesson? I want to learn. Someday you'll learn how to play the piano. But not today. Oh, that sucks. We need to get to one of the other houses. I don't know if it's blocked off though. So we'll have to just keep exploring. Okay, how about we head to the plaza next? Look at all these cute little tents. Hello there, teacup. Yes, this is the first time we meet, but the cosmos told me you would come out today. Would you like to have your fortune read? It might help you on your journey for tea. Yes? Then let me begin. Ooh, tarot cards. I see a past of rebelling against an authority, of struggling to find a path for yourself. But even while facing adversity, you've stayed confident and sure of yourself. This is something you must not lose. I see a young, dynamic character whose goal is to keep moving forward, discover her environment and explore new horizons. You never obey orders, but rather seek to find your own freedom. Wow, sounds a lot like me. <laughs> oh no, the tower! My mum is actually massively into tarot cards because my mum's like one of those like witchy people. She calls herself a witch. When I was growing up, I'd see my mum do like spells and read our tarot cards and stuff. And my mum always taught me that even though it seems like death is the worst card in the deck, it's actually the tower because the tower means big change. And especially for me, I don't particularly like change. So <laughs> my mum always told me that, that the tower would be the one to worry about during readings, but it doesn't always mean something bad. I know you're having troubles and I'm aware of your doubts and your fears, but the three cards you've chosen represent a real opportunity for the future. Don't you know that the cards never lie? It's up to you to follow their advice. Many good things await you. You've heard the cards. You just have to continue ahead on your journey. Tea? Oh, sure. My sixth sense tells me it's underground. It's pink? I see a lot of pink. There's nothing more I can tell you, but this information shall surely be enough. I'm so glad that I grew up around someone who knew about things like tarot cards and magic and spells because it made it so my childhood was a lot more magical than I think some people's. Did I believe in magic and fairies? 
and Santa and things like that for way too long. Possibly, I did get bullied for it, but it meant I carried over that joy and magic into my adult life. And I'm so grateful for things like that. Hello, I have the latest news. No, I can't tell you. You have to buy the newspaper and read it. Why? Well, that's just how it works. Well, if news isn't your thing, I also have the latest edition of Weekly Cloud Guide. It's a favourite among professional and hobby cloud watchers alike, you know. So the problem is that you don't have cash on you. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Never mind then. <gasps> this looks like a polo from Animal Crossing. Cute. Tea? Ridiculous. I worry about real life problems, like blah 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 blah. <laughs> but Dora told me it was a lucky day for me, but I just tripped. I'm probably getting luckier now. Maybe the luck was that you didn't hurt yourself badly when you tripped. What do you want? Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, what do you want? Cookies, huh? The only problem is that I'm about to go for lunch. You're friends of Lyndon? He mentioned something about a picnic in the pond before leaving for his break. Cookies are his speciality, so you should better go ask him. He did have some errands to run though, so he might still be doing that. Okay, can I go inside the shop? Tar said to go find Lyndon by the pond. Okay, so we need to go back to the pond again. <laughs> Look at this! Name, Farold Farrell. Address, I forgot. Hope it's alright. <laughs> what a mess! Hundreds of letters. Name, Ren Badger. Address, North Little Pond, House 4. How oh, cute, maybe we get to go to her house. More letters still. Hello. Good day. Welcome to the post office. I'm Vincent, the postmaster, assistant postman, and also the postman apprentice. I'm busy now counting the amount of to-dos I have to do on my to-do list, and that might take a while. Come back later if you need anything. Whoa, look at this messy place. Second assistant, doesn't talk much. <laughs> I love all the little plants you can interact with in this game. Look at the little cat with the balloon. I could buy some sweets later. Wow, look at this guy. So cute. You're kindly invited to the theatre play we'll be presenting this afternoon at this very spot. Oh, yay! Teacup! You're out. Are you okay? Oh, that's good. What brings you to the plaza? I bet it's because of the festival. Yeah, it's the town anniversary. You didn't know? Oof. Of all these preparations, I almost forgot about the tea party. That explains why you're out and about. I'll be there tomorrow for sure. So this is what you're looking for. Sorry tea, I don't really know where to get any of the tea herbs you need. Maybe Vincent could help you. He likes to drink tea every once in a while. If you walk a bit further, you should find him working at the post office. And if you're going to the post, if you don't mind, could you please mail my monthly manga order for me? Awesome, thanks T. See you around town, take care. Oh, okay. I just came from there, but... <laughs> Looks like the theatre company will be performing soon. My family always say I should have been an actor. Why is that? That's beyond my comprehension. Ooh, what is this place? Fancy designs. Hmm, sorry, I can't help you right now, I'm having some trouble. Don't you see it? The carpets have come alive! I knew there had to be some kind of trick. These last ones were really cheap. You're looking for tea? Yeah, I have some jasmine, but right now isn't the best time. I know, the magicians! I need your help, frog. I'll give you jasmine, but first you need to get the magicians and ask them for something to put these frogs down. You can find them in a tent in the meadows. I'd go myself, but then these carpets would escape. I'm counting on you. Okay, two things to do now. Post office and the magicians. And now we know who lives in that tent. Should I go fly a kite? I'm not sure I'm ready for such an adrenaline rush. That's so cute. What's this, a shoe shop? Let's look inside. Oh, closed for the celebrations. A little badger. Nostalgia blue, that flavour has me recording things I've never even lived. All these names are weird. What do they taste like? Went kite flying. Sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, we can't go in the sweet shop. <gasps> this is the mayor? Looks like a vampire. <laughs> I hadn't thought about it, but a lighthouse seems like an excellent way to attract tourists. Wow, lots of activity here today. Okay, let's head back this way. Go talk to Vincent at the post office and send off our friend's manga for him. This town is so cute. All the animal villagers. I love exploring in this game, it's so peaceful and calming. Welcome to the post office, how may I help you? I see, Mr. Bertol's monthly manga order. I'll add it to my to-do list. Yes, the office is a mess. Don't judge me, the mayor absolutely insisted on making this limited edition stamp collection. I've spent the whole week working on it and I'll barely finish on time. He wanted some memorabilia to immortalise this year's edition of the town's anniversary. Ah, you've noticed the honey aroma in the air. It's my tea. Can't tell you where I got it, it's a secret, you see? You know what, let me show you the stamps. Let's see if you can organise them and form the image. If you can do that, I'll tell you where to get honey. All these townspeople playing games with me when they can just help me out, you know? Vincent will tell you his secret if you solve his stamp puzzle. Place the stamps in the correct positions to complete the picture. Okay, so you need to reorganise them to form the picture. It's pretty hard. Is it? This goes here. Um, this goes here. This goes here. 
this clearly goes here, this goes here, and this looks like the number plate, so this should go at the front. Easy. <laughs> it was easy? Hmm. How about you try forming the picture by only swapping adjacent stamps? What does adjacent mean again? The ones next to it? Damn it, it knew I was going to find it too easy! That was me thinking I'm so smart. This way, this way, this way, this way. Oh! Okay, I did that part right. This goes here, this goes here, this goes here, and this goes here. <gasps> I did it! Yay! <laughs> wow, if you manage this last one, I'll tell you the secret behind how I get this honey. Okay, so this is the picture of the mare. Okay, first let's get this one here. This one here. This one should be on this side. This one needs to be the bottom right. Huh. Where does this one go? Well, this should go here, right? Oh, this goes all the way over here. And I have to keep doing adjacent pieces too. Okay, I've done that part. Here is ears. And now we need to get these corner pieces. This goes here. Oh, I did it! <laughs> Yay! These puzzles are really fun. Well, you made it, huh? As a prize, I'll tell you my secret. You know Otto? He's keeping bees. They always provide him with honey. He's a kind soul, so I don't think he would mind giving you a bit. My next door neighbor? <laughs> Why didn't he tell me this earlier? Okay, now we want to head to the magician's tent. So we need to head back to the meadow. Okay, here we are. Now hopefully we should be able to head inside the tent this time. It seems as if there's no one inside. But Pancrati told you to look for the magicians here. You call out and hear a voice beckoning you to enter. Whoa. I feel like I would absolutely love to live in a tent like this. Look how cozy it is. Oh, look, Lakovu, a frog. Correct, Vishiano. Like you. Salutations, little amphibian. Interested in the mysteries of existence? The other world that which is beyond the reach of dians? Dians? <laughs> I was literally about to say that. What does that word mean? That's science, Vishiano. Yeah, yeah, she understood. She said yes. Welcome, then. We have a mission for you. What mission? Oh, right, the mission. A magnificent mission. You must find the cauldron of life. It looks like a teapot, but it's not. It also works like a teapot, but it's not. <laughs> That's right. The cauldron lies in the darkest nooks and crannies of our fent tent. <laughs> Slander. I remember the shopkeeper was clearly saying fent. That was his accent. Nobody in that garage sale spoke our language. Uh, right. Are you cunning enough for this task, little amphibian? Well, if you're willing to find the cauldron, here's a list of some other stuff I need and can't find. Vishiano. What? She already said yes. Go. We'll be waiting here. What a magic mess. Luciano and Lakovu ask for your help to find all the objects they can't find in this mess of their tent. Find all the hidden items displayed on the scroll and select them with the cursor. Oh my, this is a mess. Can I move things around? No? Oh. Okay. Um. <laughs> Let's look for the umbrella. Oh, found it. There we go. Um, a peach. Hmm. Oh, I found it. Some of these things are very small and will be very difficult to find. Um, let's look for the glasses. Oh, I found the necklace. There we go. I found the little boat. Eight ball. Hmm. Oh, that's a V. Now we need the little candle dish. I found the lock, but no key. Wow, this is actually really tough. I'm not seeing any of the stuff. Oh wait, here's the letter. I was right over it. There's a teapot here, but it's not the teapot they want. Oh, I see the teapot in this bookshelf. That was so hidden. Is this glasses? Oh my goodness it was. I can see a clock here. That's funny because I was looking for something brown because I just expected the clock to be brown. Found the candle. I thought that was a different item. I thought that was a sword. That's how they trick you. Okay, now we just need to find the key and then we've got everything. I have no... Oh, it's here. Yay, we found everything. You pick up the cauldron of life to take it to Lakovu and Viciano. A strange smell emanates from the teapot. You feel dizzy. Uh oh. Whoa. What is this place? Wow. At nightfall, dreams will come, soft as cotton, blurred like smoke. We're in the land of dreams. Wow. From here, worldly problems seem very small. Look how pretty this is. The music is so nice as well. It's time to sleep. This pretty island with the tulips on. So cool. Little Pond should have a tram. It should have a tram. That would be cute. Oh, you can actually walk through this. That's cool. Look, Lakovu, the frog is here. Unbelievable. Looks like you found the cauldron, little froggy. And it looks like you didn't wash the tea stains again, Vishiano. 
Wait, his name isn't Lakovu? Is it Yakovu? Oh no, have I been saying it wrong? How many times have I told you? Slander Yakovu, falsehood. Couldn't be further from the truth, you sleazy lizard. But well, welcome to the dream world. Sorry for the trouble. You must be confused. It wasn't that much trouble. We know about your search, little traveller. Please accept our most sincere apologies. Yes, very sincere. <laughs> This magic powder might be of use for those pesky flying carpets. Yes, and take this magic tea. It's what we make in the cauldron. Miss Yano, you do know that if you give her that, she'll be able to enter the dream world as she pleases. Leave me alone, Yakovu. I like this froggy. Take it. Oh, you have a book? Let me show you my amazing drawing skills. Wow, you drew a teapot? That's so cute. See you on the other side. Wow, I can't believe I just tripped out with some frogs and a lizard in a tent. <laughs> And we're back! Thank you for your help! Your magnificent contributions have brought balance to the universe. Ah, I can hear it resonate beautifully. Pisciano. How many times have we talked about lying about the universe? Lying? And maybe many things, little frog. A frog, a wizard, a sorcerer, a frog, but not a liar. <laughs> I love that he says frog twice. Trust me when I say that your future resonates brightly. Well, it seems like a nice town. We should set up our summer tent here. Grandiosious! I'll connect this tent to the others. See you around. Good luck stopping those flying rugs. Oh, that was so fun. Okay, let's head back to the carpet shop. Wonderful, you talked to the magicians. A magic powder. I see. Now we just need to spread it on all of the carpets. Please help me with that and the jasmine is yours. Crazy carpets all around. Stop the flying carpets inside Pancrati's store. Aim the cluster at the carpets and throw magic powder until they fall. Oh, okay. Ah, no! <laughs> I missed. Oh, you have to be fast with this one. Oh no, I missed it. I see, I have to hit them twice. Yay. I wonder how many more there are. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Beautiful, now I can continue working in peace. Thank you very much. I think I forgot to ask your name. Uh -huh. Teacup, it was lovely to meet you. Here's your jasmine, come whenever you want it or if you need some more. And now we can read some about jasmine. Jasmine is a climbing plant that grows in temperate climates. This tea is not considered herbal, but rather as aromatic. There are different jasmine teas according to the tea you use as a base, like green tea, white tea, black tea, or oolong tea. To prepare it, the tea leaves are harvested in early summer and stored until the jasmine flowers bloom. When this happens, the tea leaves are flavoured with the jasmine flowers. Another method is to boil the tea of your choice along with said flowers. The taste is sweet and very subtle. It can reduce headaches or muscle aches. Since you're running around town, can I ask you a small favour? If you run into the Raccoon Brothers, can you tell them the new shipment of wool just came in? They look intimidating, but they're the sweetest guys I know. Last thing I heard, they were in the forest. Thanks. Okay, let's head out. Now let's head to the East Forest. Wow. <gasps> Look at the little ants. Oh, and the beautiful leaves falling from the trees. This is so pretty. You know what this reminds me of? Did you guys, I mean, maybe not some of you, you might be too young, but growing up with an old computer in the early 2000s, there was a program on the computer where you could draw and paint, and if you used the spray paint tool, um, this is what it'd look like, like the way these graphics are. This really brings me back to my childhood and using the spray paint tool to like draw and stuff on my old computer. If any of you are like mid-twenties, maybe you grew up with a similar program on the computer? Let me know if this reminds you of that as well. But looks like here are the Raccoon Brothers. They do look a bit scary, huh? Hey there, Tadpole. Have you come to join our knitting workshop? Oh, <laughs> that's so cute! Knitted sweaters don't appear out of thin air, you know. And this town severely lacks knitted sweaters. Oh, Pankrati sent you? A new shipment of wool arrived? That's rad, thanks for telling us. If you're looking for the town anniversary festival, it's right ahead on this path. Oh, you're looking for tea? The fields ahead have a lot of vegetation, so you should keep your eyes open. Be careful though, we heard something about some dangerous looking dudes wandering the forest. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so cute, because you know people were talking about them, but they're actually the sweetest guys. That's so cute. I love those characters. And now we get to explore the forest together. Isn't this so beautiful? This plant looks familiar. Wait, it's lemon verbena. You could pluck a few leaves. Lemon verbena, also known as lemon bee bush or fragrant verbena, is a plant for ornamental use that can also be made into an infusion. To prepare it, place the lemon verbena leaves in water and boil for 15 minutes, or, in case the leaves are dry, prepare one tablespoon for one litre of freshly boiled water, then let it rest. It can be prepared with mint and honey. This herb is calming, it can help with anxiety and insomnia, and can relieve stomach pains. Its smell is strong and lemony. The shrub has elongated leaves, and its flower is small and can be white or pale purple. 
How cute! I'm so glad you found some more ingredients. Okay, let's keep exploring. Everyone's having picnics? Oh. This event wouldn't be possible without me and the townspeople's hard work. <laughs> wow, look at these kites. Want some elderflower drink? It's ice from the town. You like it? I can give you the recipe. It's one of my faves. Maybe it's because you don't really say anything, but it's easy talking to you. <laughs> Have you tried my taco recipe? They're the best. Saute diced potatoes with a pinch of garlic. Coriander, tomato, avocado, fried onion. Mmm, I'm gonna get myself one. I thought it was gonna be hot outside today, but Adora was right. It's really nice in teacup. We were talking about how nice the weather today turned out to be. Come sit with us. Oh, I found my friends. This is Evangeline. I'm curious. What brings you here on such a busy day? Oh, you're looking for tea? <laughs> Classic teacup. Well, how many herbs have you got already? Well, you're almost done. Maybe next time you can join in on your quest. I wish you'd come by a little bit earlier. You could have heard us play with the band. If you're up for it, you can come see us on Saturday. Yeah, that'd be great. Have you talked to your grandma? How is she? <laughs> Lyndon keeps asking her about her famous peanut butter cookies recipe, but she keeps it a secret. Are you hungry? Now that you're here, you could get yourself some tacos. There's also a stand of ice brought from the city. Mm -hmm. I can get you some if you're too embarrassed to ask. <laughs> this is making me so emotional because I've struggled with social anxiety my whole life and I just absolutely love being around friends who are like this, who like completely understand. I really need good friends in my life that are able to take care of me and I know I shouldn't expect other people to be able to take care of me but having social anxiety means life is really hard and I really want to go out and have a friend group like this and spend days together but it's hard to ask someone else or expect someone else to do things like this for you like go and order things for you at cafes or restaurants whenever I have had a friend that's just like hey do you want me to order for you because I know you get a bit embarrassed or you know just offers it's so heartwarming and it makes me feel so loved and I just think it's really important so if any of you out there have someone in your friend group that's maybe a bit more anxious or shy and it doesn't really bother you to order things while you're out and things like that, please offer because none of us will ask. We don't want to ask you ourselves because it's embarrassing and we don't want to feel like a burden because we know having social anxiety already makes it so we can't do as many things of you as other friends do. If any of you out there have an anxious friend, please, please, please offer to do things like this for them. It will mean the world to them. I just think it's so important to include people with social anxiety because I have missed out on a lot of uh, friend groups and events as a teenager because my so-called friend group just didn't want to do things with me and their excuse for it was that oh I wouldn't want to do it because of my social anxiety so they just stopped inviting me but they weren't real friends in the end <laughs> but you should never treat people like that it's not fair and um please please invite people even if they might seem like they're too anxious even if they say no please keep inviting them please offer to help um it just means so much and yeah this is so cute I'm so happy that Teacup has friends that understand her and take care of her this is so sweet <laughs> Or you can stay here and enjoy the afternoon. It's a very pleasant afternoon. You want to keep on going? Don't worry. Good luck and see you tomorrow. Oh, I'm so glad we saw our friends. It's a nice day to get some sunlight. The sound of the breeze is the best. Well, look at this crocodile family. Look, Mum, that car looks like a big balloon. Yes, dear. Wait, that actually does look like a balloon cart. The wind is not so strong, but my carpet has taken off twice. I bet it's going to come to life and fly away into the distance. <laughs> oh no, I'm just joking. What's with that serious look? <laughs> oh no, they're all on the flying carpets. A frog? No, I'm a toad. How cute is this bunny character? Look, look, I can already count to ten. Ten, two, eight, seven, five, four. He's learning how to count. Sadly, he changes the order every time. <laughs> oh, what's this? Look, this one appears in the book. Yes, it's chamomile. Let's take a few flowers. Yay, chamomile is a perennial herb. To prepare the tea, cut the heads of the flowers and let them rest for 5 minutes in boiled water. You can include honey or mint to enhance its flavour. Chamomile has relaxing properties, making it a useful tool against insomnia and it also calms stomach pains. I actually drink chamomile tea basically every month during my time of the month and it helps a lot with the stomach pain and it tastes really nice if you add honey, so this is true. Ooh! Welcome to my humble cafeteria. Would you like a cup of tea or coffee? Tea? Wonderful, here you go. Ah. From your face, I'm guessing you didn't like it very much. The truth is, I really love these beverages, but I can't get them right despite my best efforts. Mm -hmm. Oh, you say you know a lot about tea? 
Did you actually teach me? Marvellous! I'll listen carefully to your teachings. Hmm. I see. Oh, that's how you do it. Uh-huh. I understand, that makes sense. Amazing! I've been doing it wrong all along, but I'm ready to reinvent myself starting right now. I don't think I can practice these new techniques and serve customers at the same time though. Will you help me? I'll make sure it's worth your time. Thank you so much! I'll prepare the orders while you wait for customers. Oh my goodness, coffee shop minigame? Request and retrieve coffee from Karim at the car. Deliver the coffee to incoming customers. Okay, oh my goodness. I really hope I can do this right. What do I do? Coffee? Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Get the coffee and bring it to them. This is super cute. I wonder if this is the original art style they were going to go with with this game. I love that people just come out here to sit on picnic blankets and drink tea. This is my vibe. I really just want a group of friends that want to do this, like, every weekend. We'll just hang out together, go for walks in the forest, we'll have picnic. Sit outside, enjoy the sunshine, look at the flowers, drink tea, eat cake. That's the type of friend group I want. It's hard to find friend groups like that in the UK though. <laughs> Everyone in the UK really likes to drink alcohol and pie and smoke. And that's just not my vibe, you know? I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who like to do the same things as me. It's hard to find new people to be friends with. And oh my goodness, it's very busy here now, isn't it? <laughs> No wonder they needed help. Also, I look like a waitress, I just realised, because my little apron I have on. Does Teacup always wear the apron? Or is that just for this job? I'm actually pretty good at this, huh? Is that the last customer? We did it! <laughs> well, that was incredible, thank you so much. I've never had so many customers. Oh, I don't usually wear an apron, so that was just for the minigame. You're organising a tea party? Say no more. I'll aid you. These kinds of meetings are the foundation of life itself. Especially when accompanied by the right drinks. Uh -huh. To thank you for your help, I'm giving you black tea, green tea, and sugar. You never know if one of your friends may have a ferocious sweet tooth. Mm. Also, take this white tea. It doesn't sell much, but I'm sure you'll appreciate it. Black tea is obtained from the infusion of dried leaves from the Camomelia sinensis bush. It's one of the teas with strongest flavour and colour, mainly due to the fact that its oxidation process lasts longer. It's high in theine, which is a type of caffeine that has antioxidant properties. This tea can be used as a base to create other drinks, for example with mint or jasmine. Green tea is obtained from the same bush as black tea, but the difference is that these leaves haven't oxidised. This is evident in its mild flavour and colour. Like black tea, this beverage is an antioxidant, but it contains lower levels of theine, making it a less stimulating option. It tastes great when sweetened with honey. Yes, I really love to have green tea in the morning with honey. It tastes so good. Um, my favourite brand is the Heath and Heather green tea with honey infusion. It's so good. They actually just stopped selling it in my local Holland and Barrett, so I'm either going to have to start ordering it online or find a new green tea with honey. So if any of you out there have any green tea and honey recommendations, please let me know and I'll see if I can find them in my local shops. Come get some more whenever you need it. How cute is this little bear with cup of tea? Oh my gosh. How beautiful has this game been? Like, it's just so peaceful and lovely going on a little adventure for tea, seeing our friends, enjoying nature together. If you need something, anything, don't doubt it and send us a letter. Vince, it may take a while, but if it's urgent, you can find us at the plaza. I'm so excited for tomorrow. Maybe we can play some of the songs we've been playing. We're looking forward to see all the tea you collected. It's going to be one great party. Oh, this is so cute. Well, have we explored everywhere now? I don't remember. I feel like we have explored everywhere. So we've gone to the field, we've gone to East Forest, we've gone to the market, the meadow, the pond, the West Forest, our house. Maybe the um, houses aren't blocked off anymore. Oh, they still are? Wait, your teacup? Your thea's granddaughter, what a nice surprise. Ho ho ho, I see. You look a lot like her. She also enjoys drinking tea. I like it too. Although I only drink hibiscus tea, it's nice and fresh. Oh, you want some for your tea party? Of course, I can give you some flowers for you to enjoy. Yay, we got some hibiscus. It's obtained from the sepals of the hibiscus flowering plant. It obtains antioxidants, is antibacterial and is loaded with flavour. It's perfect to drink hot or cold and it has a strong fruity flavour and a characteristic pink colour. Ah, the piano. Yes, I love to play. I can't see much anymore, but I know just fine where each key is. Oh, you can come by any time to hear me play. Sometimes I play with that friend of yours, Adele. I'm too tired for that today, sadly. We'll see each other soon. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. What do I do now, then? Otto told me that you like to read and that he often lends you books. Ah. You're welcome to come read here anytime or chat, just if you want to. No pressure. Most of my books are donations from my sponsors. Take any one you want. Oh, Otto! Yeah, I need to go see Otto! Yes, honey. 
I knew I forgot about something. Here's Otto's house. Wow. For rainy days. Catching giant dragonflies sounds dangerous. Shaman Alfeather collection. Limited edition STB map. You can see the whole world. This continent looks like a bunny. Memoirs of an owl volumes. Oh, he writes books. That's cute. Hey, Teacup. Nice to see you again. How's the adventure going? You went to the post office? What a journey. You must have met Vincent. He's a nice fellow. A bit talkative for my taste, but nice all the same. <laughs> Honey? Why, of course. I just gathered some this morning. Here you are. I'm sure your tea party will be a huge success. This food is antioxidant antibacterial, useful for skincare and the treatment of acne and antiseptic protecting wounds from possible infections. In the absence of sugar, you can accompany all your teas of honey because it also works as a sweetener. It's also used to relieve throat discomfort and a cough. Honey is a nectar created by bees. It can have different flavors depending on the flower that the bees consume. It makes for a relaxing tea and you can spread it on your toast for a tasty, nutritious breakfast. Oh. STB is an oriental shaman chant band, my favorites. Okay, is that it then? Have I not found everything now? Oh, so here's the list of things we need. Honey, ginger, lemon, lemon balm, Rubos, chamomile, mint, rose hip, jasmine, hibiscus, and cookies. So we have the basic teas, we have honey. Oh, ginger. Where do we get ginger from? Maybe the market and lemon balm. Grandma uses it to make aromatic herb bags she keeps in the closet. Okay, let's head back to the market then. Maybe someone here can help us. Be the basket you want to see in the world. <laughs> it's a pretty busy day. Everyone's so excited. Oh, there's more people here now. We're all here except one member. Oh, we need to go find Linden by the pond. I knew there was some... I keep forgetting all these little things I was meant to be doing. I've been wandering around for like 20 minutes, not knowing what I should be doing. Okay, we need to go back to the pond. I'm confused. There's no one here. This way, maybe? Oh, I haven't been to this area. Oh, this is oh. Linden. H Hi, Teacup. How are you? Are you ready for tomorrow? I'm really excited. Oh. Wow, you need some cookies? N not a problem. I can give you some leftovers from the morning for, for tomorrow, but only if you do join us on our break. We're gonna have a picnic on the lake with Roberto. I brought us some snacks. Oh, there, here he comes. Let's go. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? I had to take a screenshot. <laughs> Thanks for your help rowing, T. The water is so calm here, you can sometimes see creatures under the water. Like the mysterious beast of Little Pond. Don't say that. You know I don't like horror stories. Teacup, tell him to stop. T likes horror stories too. Uh -huh. Its sticky body attacks poor little porcupines. <laughs> Jeez, Bertel. Maybe you could draw it, T. We can flesh out the story like we used to do at school. Do you remember our p paper puppet shows? Those were epic. T used to make the best voices. Everyone thought we'd hired a professional. I still have an album of our paper cuttings. Good old times. It's starting to get hot here lately. We used to sail in coats and wool hats. Yeah, T. Sometimes Evangeline and Adele come too, but they had band practice today. I feel like I can relax here. Linden also stutters a lot less. You're always welcome too, T. You know. Maybe she should come around more often. Sometimes we read our mangas out loud and act them out, but our oh. voice acting is nowhere as good as yours. It's awesome that you came out right on the town's anniversary. Little Pond is a nice place. People are a bit crazy, but hey, so are we. Yeah, it's great that you're here. It's a big step. There'll always be a spot here for a frog like you. Anyways, Lyndon gave me a plant the other day. He called it Melifluo. I don't know what you expect, Lyndon. I'm too busy to keep a plant alive. I think he's the one who wanted it. After all, he's the one actually caring for it. Why Melifluo? Good question, T. Lyndon, what's with that name? Hmm. Uh, I, I just thought it sounded nice. Well, I'm hungry. Can you pass me the snacks, Bertle? Of course I can. Let me take them out. <gasps> ah, a bee! Oh, Bertle. You've got the longest arms between us three, Teacup. Would you mind pulling the picnic out of the water? It's gonna be soggy though. Oh no, Bertel dropped the picnic basket to the lagoon. Okay, if you guys really want to eat soggy picnic. <laughs> so it saved the chocolate. A little lunchbox, so cute. Last of all, the apple. Oh, that was hard to reach. <laughs> Thanks, T. Sorry I dropped our snacks. Don't worry about it, but Bertel, I think we can dry off most of these things. I think it's time to get back. Mr. Felicia must be looking for me. Tom must be opening the bakery too. Yeah, you're right. We're gonna run on ahead, Teacup, but you know where to find us. Come by the bakery <laughs> later and I'll give you some cookies. Alright, so we need to head to the bakery. I'm looking for sandcastle builders. Do you have a CV? <laughs> the mayor is everywhere today. 
If you're here about the trees with sweaters, we're investigating it. <laughs> that was definitely the Raccoon Brothers. I saw your race of Salamandro. I've been here all day. Sunbathing is the best sport. You know, because of the vitamin. Here's where I found the gold coin the other day. Huh. Doesn't seem like there's anything else. Wait, how long have you been there? You didn't hear anything from me. And now we're inside the lighthouse. And this big plant in here. Oh, um, you're not here to make fun of me, are you? Olympia sent you? What am I doing? Well, building a lighthouse. My name is Rickard Oren. I'm the main architect and engineer here at the lighthouse. A pleasure. People say it's dumb for a pond to have a lighthouse, but it's my project. And the only opinions that matter here are the architects and the engineers. Well, also my patrons, Olympia. It's a crazy dream, but it's my dream. I work on it every day. I won't stop just for a couple of ignoramuses, excuse my language, who don't have dreams of their own. Sadly, I haven't been able to finish it because I can't place these gears correctly for the life of me. Ooh. Really? You can help me? If this works, I'll put your name on the commemorative plaque. Okay, drag and place the gears on the right rod. Gears with the same teeth must be in contact, but they cannot overlap. Let's see. The idea is to plug in all these gears in the rods. Gears with the same kind of teeth have to be in contact so they can turn each other. Gears with different teeth can overlap slightly, but you can't cover the center of the gear as they wouldn't be able to turn. Okay, wait, what? This is confusing. It's pretty confusing, but I'll be here to show you whenever you're placing your gear incorrectly. Oh, I see. I feel like this is wrong. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing here. Well, that's not right. Oh, okay. This one should go here. Why is it not doing that? Oh, I've put the little one there, I see. I didn't even notice that there. Okay, that one should go there. Maybe the little one here? <laughs> I'm just getting the game to tell me now, because I... I don't understand this one. This puzzle's a bit confusing for me. This one goes here. Well, where does this one go? This puzzle is so confusing to me. <gasps> Have I done it? <gasps> I did it! <laughs> I had to get a lot of help from the game though. Wow, it's working. Thank you uh -huh. so much. Consider yourself invited to the opening ceremony. Ooh. There's still much to do before the lighthouse is up and running, but you took a huge weight off my shoulders. Oh, you need some tea? Yeah, of course I have some. Ta-da! It's Rubos! Rubos is a red shrub of which the infusion is prepared from the leaves. Its infusion is recognised for having a slight toasted nutty flavour and a strong red tint, but above all for being caffeine free. It's anti-inflammatory and antioxidant and possesses relaxing characteristics. It's ideal to prepare with vanilla or milk. It can also help soothe skin irritations. Well, that's nice. Ooh. You can come get some whenever you want. I'll be right here. How cute. I'm so glad we decided to explore the lighthouse. Okay, now we need to go get the cookies from the bakery. Let's see, we have the new shop, the post office. This was the rug shop. We have the performers here. Still waiting for the last member, it seems. Oh no, this was the rug shop. What's this big shop over here then? I can't remember. I don't think we've gone in it. Oh, this is the bakery. Oh, croissant. Order number 22, croissant. Yum. Cinnamon roll, no cinnamon. Oh. <laughs> Here you are. I already wrapped up the cookies. These go great with tea. Take them. Looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> cookies are the perfect treat for tea time. I agree. To cook some simple vanilla cookies, you only need to follow this recipe. Oh, look, it's an actual recipe that you can probably follow. I actually have cookies and tea every single day. If you're wondering what is Lulu doing with her life, every single day at around five to half five, I'm sat on my sofa with a cup of tea and a cookie. And I do that every single day and it brings me so much peace and joy. And I would recommend everyone in the world to have a tea at five o'clock with cookies, like shortbread or chocolate chip cookies or homemade cookies and a cup of Yorkshire tea. It's my favorite time of the day, every single day. I see you found Linden. What were the cookies for? Oh, a tea party. I'm more of a coffee person myself, but tea does go pretty well with cookies. You notice the order numbering seems off? Well, I just think of any number between one and a thousand. It might sound like a weird system, but it works pretty well when your memory's as good as mine. To do, buy flour. Make berry jelly for the mayor. Oh, what a cute little bakery. Wait, the builder? Looking forward to this play. Not going back to that tree until I've watched it. I urgently need your help. Look, one of our members still isn't here, but the show must go on. We need your help and I can tell you have the skills. Please help us. Well, thank you very much. Here's the story. The costumes are in the back. Show them the script and they'll know what to do. Uh -huh. You're going to be the protagonist. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Zero just achieved the lead role of the play. Watch carefully the sequence of directions displayed for each scene. Wait for the sequence to disappear. 
and then perform each move in the sequence by memory. Oh god. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, to this humble jester, for I will tell you about the biggest adventure I've heard in my voyages. Oh my goodness, how cute! There was, not so long ago, a young Harlequin that one fateful meeting slipped and stumbled onto Earth. His only dream was to get back and spend his days amongst the bright light of the stars as before, but the moon now looks so small and out of reach. Up, right, left. I did it! <laughs> Yay! I'm guessing this is going to get hard. To find a way back home, he spent countless hours in the library and researched arduously. But alas, he found nothing that could be of help. He became sadder and sadder as time went by. The librarian, seeing him every afternoon in such low spirits, approached him to inquire about the matter. And upon hearing his goal, to the Harlequin's surprise, he said, Oh melancholic Harlequin, there is a way. You must head to where the sun meets the horizon and ask for the stars for their help. If they hear your plea, they'll drop a staircase that leads to the moon. Up, right, up. Up, right, up. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Love doing my little poses. With this new information, the little dreamer packed his belongings and set out on his journey. Just as he was parting, however, he encountered the librarian who, anxious to adventure beyond his books, handed him a map and asked to be part of the trip. The Harlequin joyfully accepted his company. Hooray! <laughs> Love the cheers every single time I do my little poses. Even though the librarian was very knowledgeable, they soon realised that neither of them knew how to use a map and got lost. It was then that they spotted a bird swiftly flying across the sky. The bird noticed the lost travellers and stopped to help them. Upon hearing their destination, he smiled and said, I've been to where the staircase falls, offering to guide them. Up, right, right, left. Up, right, right, left. <laughs> the trip was long and their voices grew tired and their feet sore. When their spirits were at their lowest, they encountered a crocodile. With her little drum, she created the most beautiful sounds the group had heard. Seeing the lack of music on their trip, she decided to join them. The stars don't speak much, so I'll lend you my music up until the staircase. With her melody, she restored the traveller's energy. Left, down, right, up, right. Left, down, right, up, right. Whew, I almost didn't get that one. And thus, the travellers continued their journey. They marched onwards to the rhythm of the crocodile's music. Thanks to the librarian, they talked about all kinds of interesting topics. They learned about different places and cultures through the trips of the bird. Their campfires were never boring of all the tricks that the Harley Quinn had up her sleeve. As it often happens when you have a good time, the days went by quickly, and suddenly they found themselves where the sun meets the horizon. Right, up, down, up, down. This one's a little easier. This story is reminding me of Baldur's Gate, because I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate recently. <laughs> and you just go on a little adventure with all your pals. There's like a little campfire. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Does Baldur's Gate count as a cozy game? Probably not. But I love it. Anyways. <laughs> the Harley Quinn called out to the stars for help, and just as the librarian said, a long bright staircase stretched down from the sky. The librarian hugged the Harley Quinn and said, You are almost where you want to be, dear friend. It's time to say goodbye. Faced with these words, the little Harley Quinn took one last look of his friends, but was overcome with a bitter sadness. As tears began to spill from his eyes, he realised he had not felt such misery since before he started this journey. Upon realising this, he let go of the ladder and exclaimed, Now that I'm here and you are here with me, I cannot imagine a life without your company. Oh my goodness! Left, right, up, up, down, down. What a cute story! That night, they didn't light up a fire and instead decided to share a picnic under the moonlight as they'd already found the brightest treasure on their way to the staircase. Right, down, up, right, right, up. Right, down, up, right, right, up. Right, down, right. Hey, I pressed- <gasps> No, they're booing me! <gasps> oh my goodness. Everyone, everyone. Oh no. <gasps> no. Oh no, I'm so nervous. Same. Left, right, left, up, up, down. Left, right, left, up, up, down. Left. Right, left, up, up, down. Phew! <laughs> I was getting actual anxiety from that then. Did we complete the story? We did. <laughs> Your performance was amazing. The spectators burst into tears. That was a cute story. I'm impressed. You may want to come with us and perform in other towns. Oh, I see. You haven't heard the calling of theatre. Well, fair enough. One great adventure is better than nothing. Best of luck with what remains of your journey. Oh, that was cute. We're still missing a few ingredients. Oh, this place is open now. You see a river with a free gondola in the distance. You could ride this to Grandma's house, but it's pretty far away. You'd probably have to spend the night over there and come back tomorrow. I think let's head to Grandma's house then. Oh, how cute is this? All the lily pads and our little boat. 
I just love the art style of this game and this whole game has been so peaceful and lovely. I love cozy games like this that take a couple of hours to complete and you just go on a super lovely, calming journey. It's been so nice exploring the world of Teacup. She's definitely a character I can relate to. And she's so cute. She dresses a bit like me as well. I love her. And it's just so nice to play as a character that struggles with anxiety or going outside, you know? I'm someone that struggled with things like that, so it's just really nice to be represented, even if it is as a little frog in a game, <laughs> about collecting ingredients for tea. Wow, look how beautiful this house is. Here we are. This is so lovely. Oh, it did say in our book, didn't it, that Grandma keeps ginger in the cupboard. I thought it meant at our house, but I guess it's here. Grandma's favourite tea set. Ren gave it to her a long time ago. Photo albums. Teacup, ages 8 to 14. Oh no, baby pictures. How embarrassing. Nothing better than taking a nap after afternoon tea. Photos from the holidays of your grandma, when you were little. <gasps> here she is. I can't believe my eyes. Teacup. Is something the matter? Are you alright, darling? You came on your own accord. Wow. Sometimes I forget you're all grown up now. Only yesterday you were the littlest tadpole learning how to swim outside the pond, and now you're on land. I'm so Aww. proud. I know, I know. I'm just so happy to see you. Take a seat, please. Let me fix you a cup of tea. How have you been? Are you ready for your tea party? Of course I know about it. I asked Ren to look out for you in town. Lyndon also comes to deliver fresh bread every morning. He always stays for a cup of tea. Oh, I know what this is about. <laughs> You ran out of tea. I was wondering how the last set I gave you had lasted so long. You are in town looking for tea all day? You must be exhausted, little one. You found quite a lot of herbs, I see. So what brings you all the way here? Darling, you know you can always ask me for anything you want. Even though you may be big now, I'm still your grandma. I've got those herbs you're missing in some jars in the kitchen, but you have to tell me all about your day first. You've caught me off guard. I don't have much for us besides tea now, but I have some flour left. We could make those peanut butter cookies you like so much while you tell me what you saw in Little Pond. I'll go on ahead to the kitchen. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Some of your grandmother's favourite plants. She might have some for you. Okay, here we are in the lovely kitchen. Your friends used to come over to play and have tea in the afternoons. They ate all the cookies in the jars. Honey, could you fetch me some rose hips from the living room, please? Oh, of course. Let's go. Rose hips. Oh, it's rose hip. Grandma won't mind if you take a generous helping. Rose hips are fruits produced by wild rose bushes. They have a large amount of vitamin C and are used to prepare jams and jellies. To prepare this herbal tea, put 4 to 5 rose hips in a cup of boiled water, let it steep for 10 to 15 minutes, and then remove the fruits. Its flavour is acidic, making it perfect to accompany with something sweet. I <laughs> love a little drawing of grandma. Lemon balm, ginger, and the rose hip you picked up. There you go. You know where to come when you need more. It will only cost you a conversation. It's late already. You should spend the night in your room here and get back home tomorrow. Tell me about that last manga you were reading while I get the ingredients for the cookies. Giant frogs? That's scary. The next day, Teacup returned to her house and got everything ready for the tea party. Today's the day. Another present from your grandmother. <laughs> she gave us more plants, of course. It's just enough tea to not go on an adventure for a while. Perfect. Cups, cookies and tea. Everything is ready. Only your friends are missing. Might as well read a bit while they arrive. Oh, there they come. This is it. Your friends came to the tea party and it's time to make tea. There's so much to choose from. What do you recommend, teacup? Jasmine? Oh, jasmine green tea, sure. I want that, but no sugar, please. You went to the wizard's tent? Do they really have a giant butterfly? Okay, so we're gonna need some green tea and jasmine, which is just here. <gasps> They have a what? Are they real wizards? Amazing! Weren't you scared? I saw them talking to my uncle the other day. They look chill, or at least the short one. The other one was a bit scary. The other day, the tall one? Ah, Yakovu. Thanks, Teacup. I can't remember his name. Yakovu asked if he had a library in town. He said he would lend us his books to start one. Ooh. Miss Olympia has lots of books too. Whenever she's home, she's always reading something. You met her? What teas did she give you? Oh, she told you to ask Rickard? What, you repaired his lighthouse? How come I go to work every day and that kind of thing never happens to me? Can I try a cup of Ruibos? Cool, yes. Two sugars, please. Ruibos, that's this one. And two sugars. Now we need the hot water. <laughs> I love the little elephant teapot. It's so cute. Yesterday was amazing. I always knew you had an actress in your teacup, but seeing you on stage was awesome. You didn't see her in the pond. She was great too. She saved our picnic. We should go to the pond next weekend and enjoy a day at the beach. The mayor said the beach will probably be empty because it's going to be cloudy. Oh great. Wait, how does he know that? 
I have no idea. He's a mysterious man. Did you hear about the kite contest winner? It was Johnny Juggles. Oh, Teacup, I saw you picking up herbs at the festival. Chamomile, would you make me some of that? Does that go well with mint? Then give me some of that too and with honey, please. Thank you, Teacup. Hmm, that sounds good. Some chamomile. Some mint. And two spoonfuls of honey. Oh, that's going to taste really nice. There we go. Nice warm cup of tea. Miss Olympia was fascinated. She said she hadn't seen such a fearless kid in a while. I mean, mm. seeing him fly away gave me quite a fright. Ooh. Teacup, I saw you speaking to Mrs. Adora yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mrs? She said uh -huh. something about being married to destiny. Did she give you any hints on where to find the herbs? Oh, that's too bad. Good thing that Miss Mole had hibiscus. Can I try it? Great, the honey please. We need some hibiscus and two honeys. I've never actually had hibiscus tea myself. I don't think I'd really like the super flowery ones. But maybe I would, I don't know. Ooh. Oh, I finished my tea already. Teacup, is there any tea that is as minty as Adele's, but more lemony? Ha, <laughs> can I try lemon balm? Is there any ginger? Great. Can you add a little bit of that and a pinch of sugar, please? Nobody makes tea like you. Oh my goodness, these friends are the absolute cutest in the world. Lemon balm, ginger, and sugar. This reminds me of Coffee Talk. I still need to complete that game. <laughs> That's a cool book. Is that where you found the different herbs? Oh, what is this? Rose hip? Can I try some? Five sugars, please. You're like a tea wizard. Ah, oh, I just remembered the final dialogue in the play. Five sugars? Wow, I mean, I can't say much. I have a big tea mug that I use, and whenever I use it, I have three sugars in my tea. That's quite a lot, isn't it? <laughs> that looks lovely. I even shed some tears. The theatre always comes with beautiful plays. I heard Vincent was pretty excited. He wanted to join the company. Last year, he wanted to join the caravan that was selling salt. Classic Vincent. Come on, Teacup. We know you like to prepare tea, but come sit with us. Oh, what are you preparing for yourself? Mint tea with two sugars? Aw, oh, this is our cup. Cute. There we go. Nice and refreshing. Great, now come sit with us so we can take a picture. Aw, how cute is that? And thus finished Teacup's adventure for tea. This was so cute! But who knows? Maybe other adventures await Teacup in Little Pond. Or perhaps... Just a lazy afternoon spent reading. With a cup of her favourite tea. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! I really hope you guys enjoyed playing this game with me. I don't know why the end there made me emotional. I think I just related so much to the character of Teacup and I spend a lot of my evenings reading a book in bed with a cup of tea so I don't know, this game was so peaceful and cute. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel because it really helps me out. I also have a Patreon you can join if you want early access to these videos. Um, speaking of, I would like to say an extra special thank you to my wonderful Patreon supporters for supporting me this month. Without your guys' support, I wouldn't be able to buy and play new games like this for the channel, so I really do appreciate it. And to the rest of you, thank you all so much for joining me today. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of this game. I had a lot of fun playing it, and I hope you guys are having a super lovely and relaxing day. Let me know in the comments your favourite teas, your favourite hot drinks. Let me know what you've been up to recently. I love to hear what you've been doing and how you are. I hope this video is able to give you some peace in your day. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll speak to you all in my next video. Bye! Look at your